Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. We look, we got us a big 22 ounce bomber bottle here. This is Hot Freshener Series Lemon and Grassy. Uh, this is done by Port Brewing Company slash Los Abbey. Those guys make some really tasty beers. They're out of San Marcos, California. Uh, I picked this up from Donovan and the guys out there at Silver All Liquors in San Diego. Uh, CraftCity.com on the internet if you're not in that area. Uh, this is their lemon and grassy uh, version of this beer. And, then, and from what I've read, uh, they do several different versions of this in the series. And this is uh, this particular one. And this is a fairly big beer. Uh, brewed with lemon zest. That's what it's got here. And it's an IPA. Uh, and they use this yellow label with white writing on it. Very hard to read. 8.5% uh, alcohol by volume it says here on this. I don't see the IBUs or any kind of dating on the label. We'll look when we come back with the final chug, see if there's any kind of dating on the bottle. I don't see it. And it's got a little bit of a coagulation in the bottom of it. Another reason why we need to date on the beer, guys, so we know how old the beer is we're buying. Uh, not sure when they've done this beer. But very unusual if it's a fresh beer to see uh, for an IPA or double IPA to see that sediment in the bottom of the bottle unless it's some kind of bottle condition or something like that. Not sure on this one. So like I said, we'll take a quick look at it when we come back with the final chug. See if there's any dating uh, on the beer. So, uh, commercial description on this says brewed with lemon zest. Our summer IPA features tangy floral hops on the nose with aromas of fresh cut grass and lemon peel. On first tip, tangelo and lemon zest burst through with emerging hints of spice from the hops I'll balance with a faint caramel malt backbone. And let's step over, I don't see any IBUs listed on the bottle or in the Rate Beer or Beer Advocate, and they don't have it on untapped either, so we have no idea what the IBUs are on this beer, guys. So, food products for this being American Double at 8.5%, cuisine is barbecue, the cheese is a peppery, moderate pepper jack sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, Gorgonzola Limburger, glass worth of snifter, tulip, Oversized wine glass, I got my favorite snifter today. And it uh, says here it can be cellared, but don't sell your IPAs or double IPAs, guys. Drink them as fresh as you can. The alcohol at 8.5% is going to let this beer keep, but the hops are going to fade. Of course they will. Of course they will. All right, that pour, not even a half a finger of head. It does look like it's a filtered beer. It's very clear. I see the light through it, a lot of bubbles streaming up. Let's get a nose on it. Definitely getting the grassy, lemony zest. It smells a lot like a lager as far as the grassiness of it. But there is some nice hop profile in there. Nice citrusy smell. Just a little bit of pineyness, not much at all. The grassiness and the lemoniness is standing out more than anything else. So Let's give it a taste See what we got. Cheers guys, cheers Donovan and all the guys out there at Sarval Liquors. I would, I would estimate this is a very low IBU for a double IPA. Not very bitter on the back end. Big, strong, grassy, lemony zest uh, standing out on this beer more than anything else. I 
a nice maltiness to it. A decent beer, especially if you like uh, a lot of lemon in your in your IPA. Big lemon notes in this, guys. Real big lemon notes, and on a second taste, I, I got a little stronger bitterness on that. So I might want to take that back as far as not being too bitter. This may be in the 70s or 80s, maybe even in the 90s in the IBUs. Would like for them to put that on the label, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I would. Tastes pretty good though. A nice uh, double IPA. Yes, uh, not your typical West Coast style. These guys being out in uh, California. Not that big piney, grapefruity, pineapple taste. Kind of subdued. More grassy, lemony than anything else. Decent. I don't think it's quite to the world class outstanding range, but let me step on it for a little while and I'll make my mind up here just in a just that short. And we'll pour her a glass and see where it ends up. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Nice tasty beer, uh, grassy, lemony, no doubt, a little grainy, uh, just a slight hint of some pininess in there, not much, not your typical West Coast style IPA like I said earlier, uh, but very decent beer. The biggest plus I've got about this beer, it has no date on it guys. You're going to produce an IPA or a double IPA, I don't know how big this brewery is, Fort Brewing is probably good size. Uh, they can afford to put a date on the bottle. Uh, if they don't have a dating machine, there's something wrong there. Uh, especially if you're producing IPAs and double IPAs. I've, t I've told you guys this many, many times before. That machine, if you're producing this style of beer, or a low ABV beer on top of that, is just as important as the brew kettle in my opinion. I mean, uh, maybe these beers fly off the shelf. They don't sit anywhere. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and whether they use the same labels year after year after year when they do this, I'm not sure there either. Now the reason, if you're going to use this same label over and over and over, put it on the back label. Put it on a, on a neck label. Uh, put it somewhere where we can see what the vintage is the month, day, and a year on this style of beer. We need to know that, guys. And these guys choose not to do that. In my opinion, guys, and it's just my opinion, and y'all know how I am on these style of beers and no dating. Very nice aroma. A very, very nice aroma. A nice, lemony, grassy. Uh, I'm thinking it's more of a herbal hot presence than the typical West Coast style. But very enjoyable. Very nice. Very well done. Alcohol is very well hidden for 8.5%. Very nice. That's why it intrigues me why they won't put a date on it. And like a lot of the breweries, the stuff flies off the shelf and then they don't feel like they have to. Uh, there's a lot of them, guys. And some of them have stepped up the plate recently, Three Floyds and some of the others that are dating their stuff now. But there's still quite a few of them that, that do not. And uh, they would get better grades from me if they did. That's just me. I don't judge them. Over the last week or two, I've had three or four different breweries contact me and uh, one of my shipping address and want me to start reviewing their beers. I love that. I really, I really think when these these guys, because I don't send out any kind of emails to these guys saying, hey, I want to review your beers. I don't do that. I've done so many beer reviews now with well over 2,100 now that I'm hoping these people are seeing the reviews. They're, they're checking social media. They're checking because I don't go and do reviews on Right Beer or Beer Advocate or something. I do post now on uh, on uh, on Untapped. Uh, I started doing that several weeks ago, and I've been on Untapped for quite a while, but I didn't post everything. Now I'm trying to check in on all the beers that I review, so these people will, will know. So, to me, guys, on this beer, very tasty, very well made. Only plus I've got is the date, lack of date. So, to me, guys, this is a nine beer in an eight bottle because it has no dating on it. You don't know how old the beer is you're buying. So, with that being said, we're going to leave it down. I'm not going to harp on that. 
numeric rating on this beer, guys, I would probably give this a 91. It would probably get a 95 or a 96 if it had a date on it somewhere. I just, I just got to know how old the beer is I'm purchasing. Bottom line. All right, let's go over to Beer Advocate. They say 89 in a very good range. That's almost to the A category. So, without having a date on it, I can understand that number. Yes, it is a very good beer. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 95 is 78 to stop. So, we've got an 89, we've got a 91, and we've got a 95. So, pretty close numbers there. Uh, we got an upper B, we got a a B minus, I mean an A minus for me, and we got a, actually a nine from Rate Beer. So we're all pretty close there. And we're gonna go over to Untapped and see what they say on this particular beer. And they tell me that they're giving it a 3.79, which is a B plus. So I feel like I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, giving them an A minus. So uh, Untapped and, and both Beer Advocate are saying it's a B plus beer, whereas Rate Beer and myself. I'm saying it's an A minus, and they're saying it's a, a, a solid A. So, had a date on it, guys, I'd give it a better score. So, without the date, this is what I'm giving it, but it is a tasty beer. But if you're into uh, something that's got a little more lemony, uh, grassy, and grassy doesn't sound that great, but it does have a nice lemony taste, nice herbal hop uh, presence to it. Very enjoyable. So, Donovan, thanks again. You guys out there at uh, Survival Liquors, CraftCity.com, on the internet. Very tasty. Glad I got you to try it. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. I'm coming back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of the fridge. See you then.